by the power of the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, I present to you the consuming fire temple of El Shaddai. We move with feet that are as swift as a deer. Hallelujah. And we stand secure in the heights. Hallelujah. With hands that are ready for war. Name of Jesus and Christ, bending bows of bronze. Peace and blessings, family. This is Brother Ardent with the Consuming Fire Temple of El Shaddai. More fire, more flame. Today, we're going to talk about covert witches. Many of you are suffering because you are in fellowship and friendship with a witch and you don't even realize it. These witches are sent out by their covens or sometimes by directly by demonic spirits. And their goal is to steal, kill, and destroy. Just like Satan and every one of his subsidiaries and agents. Steal, kill, and destroy. They want to steal from your destiny. Derail your destiny. Um, kill you if they can. Mess with your children. Anything that they can do to stop and distract you from accomplishing the will of God in your life, to stop you from bringing glory into the kingdom of God. Besides just witchcraft, the main tool of these covert type witches is to use mimicry. They want to fit in, to blend in and be able to move smoothly and glide in those Christian circles to look like part of the body, one of the brethren, stuff like that. That's what they want to do to gain your trust. They work um, in similar fashion or analogous to demonic things like fetches, mimics or whatever they call it where you're from. If you're unfamiliar with them, they're usually out in very rural forested areas like deep in Appalachia. A lot of these um, national parks like um, the land between the lakes, great um uh, Smoky Mountains, the Great Smoky Mountains, Daniel Boone, National Forest, places like that. It's not an exhaustive list. How they operate is like this. They try to get your trust. They will pretend to be so that you take on the voice, mimic the voice of your children, family, friend, whoever, and start calling out your name, calling you to come closer and usher you closer and closer into the forest. Or they might pretend to be a screaming child, a screaming woman, so you feel your guard is down and you feel as though you should go help them and um, help in the situation. There are people who have encountered these things. Once they get your trust and get you to actually come there, who've encountered these things and got away. Then there are some who said they've seen them and then not too long afterwards, they disappear. They're gone without a trace in these forests or they've seen them and then they come back crazy. Their mind is gone. Um, so anyway, the point being that the way a lot of these creatures that I'm comparing these covert witches to, they'll get your trust and then they get you. That's how now back to the covert witch. Here are some ways to spot them. But mind you, if someone exhibits one of the following characteristics that I'm going to speak about, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are a witch. OK, um, these are some ways to spot them in the natural. So I'll start here. They want to appear holy. Uh, they want to seem like the most pious, holy saint that you have ever met. This makes them feel as though they are blending in, right? Like they are the complete opposite of evil. So if allegations are brought up, which they are sometimes, I've seen that in my own life with them, where they've allegations have been brought up, they are able to rely upon a, uh, a track record that looks like it is... Um, you know, just full of, of, of perfection, right? And that's another way to spot them because they'll seem, they want to almost seem perfect about it, right? But what they're really doing is taking the Mercedes logo and putting it on a wheelbarrow and saying, I'm a Mercedes. And they're, they're driving in their wheelbarrows going vroom, vroom, and they're copying everything, but it's not really a Mercedes, if that makes any sense. They're doing everything it should, but it's not. Uh, they're trying to act that way. They can talk the talk, right? They'll speak fluent Christianese, if that makes sense. Church talk, glory, hallelujah. They know the way to, uh, uh, how to operate within church, the what to do, what not to do, how to act, etc., and how to just, they want to be seen as that, as a good person, as a as a role model or so forth, something, someone that you would want to come to, a confidant uh, uh, about your information, about your problems in your marriage, problems in your home, things like that. They want to come off that way. Um, they they want to seem very um, just holy and perfect. Um, they'll be very braggadocious about their walk. So when it comes down to praying 
reading the Bible, all these things. They're going to make sure you know how long they've been praying, how much their body aches because they've been on their knees so long or how 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 dry their mouth is, etc. From praying and praying and praying. And you're it's up for you to know. Right. You must know this. So you can know. Look, hey, I'm holy. I'm really, really good. I'm, I'm I couldn't possibly be anything else. Who, me? Of course not. Stuff like that. They, they're they building a case of perfection. Um, they You'll find that they want to pray with you a lot. They always want to pray with you so they can get your information. If someone wants to put, put a curse on you to begin to find out more information about you without the use of a monitoring spirit and so forth, um, they're going to want to begin to uh, they want they need your information. And also, when you pray with someone, they they'll do things like put you in a covenant with them, et cetera, during prayer, uh, um, start muttering things. You might watch out for the one that watches you. So when you're praying, you're in a prayer session and then you find that they're doing this. The staring and looking at you, something is wrong. Something is wrong. They're paying attention. They want to find out where you are in life. When you're in prayer, you tend to give out, um, you know, appeal to the Lord with your concerns, what you need, what's going on, the, the blessings and good things that are in your life, prayers of thanksgiving, things like that. We get mouthy and so forth during prayer. So be careful who you're praying with because they may be praying on you, getting that information. Um, so they're going to look the part. They may dress extremely uh, um, modest, right? And there's nothing wrong with any of the things I said being holy and modesty are written in the word, right? They're good things. There's nothing wrong with that. But what they'll do is, you know, put on um, a, a dress that, that goes down beyond their, um, their toenails so that um, not to be in line with the Lord or, or anything like that. It's to seem extra modest, to seem extra holy. I listen to the Lord more than you do. Um, I, I, I am a follower of him more than you are. Please know that. And I couldn't possibly, possibly be uh, uh, going to sleep at night. Um, and when I, I and my spirit wakes up from my body in the midnight hour and I go and meet at the coven stead with my fellow coven members and we discuss your pregnancy where we're going now to um and we discuss uh, sacrificing your baby and make ensuring that you have a miscarriage things like that that's how wicked they are they don't want wickedness i'm telling you because i've seen these things wickedness they don't want to be found out they don't want to be known there's some that some witches don't mind being known they don't mind and they'll show themselves off. But there are those that will hide within the body, will hide and pretend to be your brother or sister just to get at you. Uh, they'll, they'll be very braggadocious in their with their Christianity. They want you to know just what they've been doing. My my, you know, my body's aching from prayer. Um, my my mouth is so dry and oh no or you know I'm I'm on a fast right now I'm on this long fast and I just finished a, this fast it's all for you it's all show it's all a, sh a show game it's all to make you think a certain thing it's not for God when you can peep that something is that someone is doing something not for God but for you to have those uh, to appear a certain way. You need to give a side eye. You need to talk to the Lord and say, Lord, who is this person? Um, they'll be very touchy feely, too. They'll be the ones that are always like, um, hey, baby, how you doing? How you doing, baby? They want to touch on you. They want to not always, but a lot of times they want to touch on you, not in a nasty way, but giving hugs, um, always a, a, a kiss on the cheek, little things like that, because there are ways with physical touch that you can transfer things. And also things like handshakes, dap, uh, uh, fist bumps, etc., are all forms of, of agreement. You know what I mean? So that's why after making a deal with someone and you agree on the terms, you go, okay, I agree. Good job. Well, it's the same thing you do with them all the time. Um, shaking their hand, hugging them, letting them kiss on your cheek, etc. Um, do not do not be fooled by the 
appearance of someone that may look like a church lady, but underneath that are not only dead men's bones, but are it is a demonic spirit that is controlling that person. They have submitted themselves and given themselves over to a dark demonic power so that they may gain extra power within um, the spiritual realm and extra rank within the demonic kingdom and in their coven, etc. That is how they get down. But they can be spotted. Um, I can tell you there was a woman I'd known since I was a little boy, right? She was an adult and I was just a little kid, um, but she was part of the family. And um, come to find out as an adult, I came to find that she practiced Obia. Obia is just another form of witchcraft, right? Which you'll find in uh, the, the Caribbean and the islands, right? So anyway, um, looking back now, so as a child, I thought, okay, I saw these characteristics and I just thought, boy, boy, she's just the most, you know, our kids are, um, it's unsafe little kid. I'm thinking she's just the most boring person in the world, et cetera, et cetera, things like that. But, you know, as an adult, um, especially after I was saved, I came to find out who she really was. I started to notice things, things that followed her. I noticed that even in her household that, um, there were, it's what you would call a haunted, the world will call haunted. There were things and spirits inside of that household. Um, there were, um, if you got some food from her, like I, I can recall getting food, like some, uh, what's it called? Tomatoes and fruit and things like that from her garden and uh, bringing it back home. Then all of a sudden I'm having financial problems and there's flies all over my house and, and there's all kinds of spiritual just oppression, things happening after I get things from you. Um, I, uh, me, you know, uh, we, we come over your house and we have some, um, uh, uh, some beef patties, right? And then things are going bad inside of our bodies. And I'm not talking about it was cooked wrong. Um, specific things I'm referring to that were not good. Different curse, curses and so forth were coming, were around, were around her. And if you just got close to her, right? Um, she would act funny. Things she shouldn't know, she would know, right? And not in a prophetic good type of way, prophetess, but in a wicked type of way. Um, anyway, you know, um, she would try and hand things off to you, sometimes things of the dead, things like that to, to give to you. Um, these people like that, they always want to give you things. They want to get things inside your body. They want to come off as really nice and virtuous, etc. She would give a certain family member of mine um, who was just a little girl at the time. Um, uh, what's it called? Undergarments and, you know, clothes, but undergarments, things that sit on your private parts and stuff like that. That is not... If you find someone is doing that, it's reason to to pray to the Lord and ask, Lord, why is this person always? If you find someone is always giving something to your kid, especially clothes, um, they're not some organization or something you're not in need, but they always want to give them to them. Ask the Lord why. Begin to ask why, 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 why. They want to give things to you, items from dead people, uh, items, uh, things all the time. Something is up, uh, likely. Um, but anyway. Um, I, I found that out um, later on, which she actually was, which she had been hiding all this time, was confirmed. Um, and, you know, that's the case for a lot of you. A lot of you are yoked. I'm telling you, you're yoked to these people, to very wicked people that you don't know they're, they're wicked, but they're on assignment um, to get to you or to get to your parents. And that will so I warn you all, stop being so trusting, stop being so accepting and so forth, and don't look at the flesh as a litmus test for whether or not someone is a believer. Use the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit which is indwelled inside of you. The Holy Spirit shall teach you all things. You will know um, who to who not, and who not to trust, right? But only trust someone as far as you see the Lord in them. Amen. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of these people, not this men, women, old men, young men, uh, old ladies, young ladies, everybody, all different types of people, whether you find them online, whether you find them in church, whether they're in your family or whoever they may be, they may be, they may be on assignment and married into your family just to get to you at a later stage. And that was the assignment that, um, that the demonic spirit sent them on. There are many people just be very aware. Amen. Don't be fearful because you have the authority. Amen. Um, 
And what we're going to do here in a second is do a prayer for um, uh, uh, for wisdom and to expose, amen, to expose the uh, powers of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, to expose those wicked ones that are in your life that are there to cause you harm, that are covertly witches and warlocks that are there to destroy you and do harm unto you. So again, I say stop using these. Stop just using your eyes and thinking that you can say, oh, that person has a, a, a suit and a tie on. He must be a decent guy. Or um, this woman is wearing this, this and that. She must be decent. Or I saw them reading the Bible. They must be decent. They must be a fellow believer. <laughs> Listen, like I told you before, they speak Christianese. They study you. Um, they know what to say, what not to say. They know how to talk that talk, but they're not really walking the walk. They know how to do it. I've met many of them, many of them in, uh, in different churches. I've seen them. They're not hard to spot if you um, have the eyes to see. Look beyond the eyes. Look what lies behind the eyes. Amen. Um, it's look at the spirit behind there. But anyway, let's go ahead and pray. Go ahead and um, reach your hand toward the screen as we come in agreement in prayer. Hallelujah. As I pray with and for you. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To expose in Jesus name to begin so that the Lord can expose every covert, every hidden witch that is in your life that is bothering you, that is harassing you, that is cursing you, bringing problems and taking away good things from you, stealing, killing and destroying in your life. Heavenly Father, I come right now uh, with, hallelujah, my dear brother and sister in Christ, hallelujah, the person on the other side of the screen, Lord God, according to James 1, 5, which states, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously without reproach to all, and it will be given him. So we ask, Lord God, right now for wisdom in Jesus' name, hallelujah, for earthly wisdom, physical wisdom, but as well as spiritual wisdom, so that we may see Hallelujah. Uh, what is invisible unto us, what the enemy is trying to hide, hallelujah, from us, what people are trying to hide from us, those who are being used, demonic agents who are being used by satanic powers. What they are using, Lord God, the powers they are using, Lord God, I ask that you expose them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't care if they be a, a friend, family, or foe, whoever they may be, Lord God, expose them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I ask that you expose them in our lives in Jesus' name. Begin to bring exposure. Let this be a season of exposure of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every person, hallelujah, that is in our lives, whether it be in our children's lives or our parents' lives or whoever that, that is being used to get to us, Lord God, I ask that you expose them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May they have slip ups where they uh, uh, where they confess what they have done, where they confess who they are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, where it becomes known who they are based on what they are saying, Lord God, where uh, uh, it is brought up to us in Jesus name, where your spirit just says, well, we're automatically repelled by anyone like that. that will new that will try to come into our lives. Anyone that will try to enter our lives that is not of God, Lord God, let our spirit automatically be repelled by them. Be repelled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we know automatically that this is someone that we don't want to get near. Automatically, this is someone that we don't want to get close to in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind all demonic powers that have been stealing from your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that whatever has been stolen from you is now released back unto you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't care who took it or what they're doing with it or how long it's been, got, uh, been gone. May you receive it back time seven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the substance of the enemy's household now become yours in Jesus' name. May you begin to receive what has been uh, taken from you in Jesus' name. Some of you have been cleaving on to things, trying to hold on to it. And the enemy came in the form of some kind of witch uh, uh, that, that, that was trying to join with you in prayer. As you joined in prayer, they held hands with you. And as you were holding hands with them, they were taking from your life. They were stealing from your life. See, just in the same way as a palm reader comes in a psychic palm reader comes in and touches you and reads your palm they're not always wrong there's a reason people go to them they're working of the devil but they're not always wrong there's a reason some people are addicted to psychics and so forth they go and, and, and they that person touches on them and touches on their lifelines etc on their hand and they see different things in that person's life there are some of them who go and see that that person's uh, a husband or is about to have a, a that person 
as a, a man or a woman that is about to, uh, they're about to meet, they see their marital star, they go in and they pluck it, they, they pluck it and steal it from them to ensure that they don't ever get that marriage. In that same way, in that same way, these same covert wicked witches will come and hold your hand in prayer, feel you and read you as they touch you. Feel things that are coming into your life, it might be a baby coming into your life, whatever it is. They'll be there with you in church, blowing on your face, doing whatever it is, acting like they are a brother or sister in Christ. But in reality, they are there to try and steal that child. Mm -mm -mm. Let the Lord punish the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the disgrace of witchcraft, may the ministry of witchcraft begin to be disgraced in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the enemy be disgraced in all of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the Lord, hallelujah, may it be known, hallelujah, to all that you are favored by the Lord God Almighty. And may it be known to all that you are no mark, you are no target, you are no victim. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, say it with me. I am not a mark. I am not a target. I am not a victim. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. In Christ, I am more than a conqueror. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. He has given me, say, he has given me authority to trample upon snakes and scorpions and all power of the enemy and nothing shall by enemies hurt me in the mighty name of jesus Christ, and nothing shall by enemies hurt me and that's luke 10 19 that's the word of god that is your authority and your protection in the mighty name of jesus christ and according to psalm 91 hallelujah his angels shall bear you up say his angels shall bear me up in jesus name hallelujah lest i dash my foot against a stone your foot cannot be dashed against a stone according to psalm 91 in jesus name so we call right now heavenly father i call for angelic assistance heavenly angelic assistance that will outlast outclass and outmatch every demonic entity agent or whatever the enemy will try to send against me or try to send against the other person on this under the sound of my voice in the mighty name of jesus christ it shall not work it shall fail let it fail let every demonic thing that is coming against you begin to fail let it fail let it die let it die in jesus name hallelujah it is the time hallelujah for the redemption of what the enemy has stolen from you in Jesus' name. It is time for your dignity to return to you. The dignity that the enemy has stolen from you. The, 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 the blessings that he has stolen from you. The achievements that you were supposed to make in the kingdom of God. Some of you are supposed to be in ministry right now. Hallelujah. Some of you were supposed to have spoken to many souls. Whether you are in ministry or not even in ministry. You are supposed to have spoken to many souls. Hallelujah. And they will come to know Christ through you. Hallelujah. But the enemy has bogged you down so much with so many of his agents distracting you and, and, and cursing you and doing things unto you and to your children so that you aren't even focused enough to do the work of God. God forbid in the name of Jesus Christ, let that entire situation turn around now for your good. Hallelujah. For all things shall work out for your good. Hallelujah. For you are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So we, we decree this and we declare it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And it is done and we call it finished in Jesus name. Go ahead and begin to, um, we say amen, but go ahead, like I said before, just call upon the spirit of God. Look at people with the spirit of God. Do not look at what they look like. The exterior means absolutely nothing. It is all about what is in the interior. The body is just a flesh bag to carry you around this earth. Hallelujah. The rules of engagement on earth are as such. In order to manipulate the physical realm, hallelujah, to pick up this bottle of water, to do anything like that, I must have a flesh body. Amen. There are spirits who from time to time can do different things like you might see lights flashing on and off or uh, pots going all crazy in some of these houses falling all over cabinets closing etc but these are all temporary events hallelujah but to continuously manipulate the physical realm you must have a flesh and blood body. That's why these demons want to get in so bad. So they can experience some sex and lust through you. So they can experience that that drug, that drink, etc. through you. So they can um, uh, uh, act out that demonic act through a human body. So they can go out and, 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 and murder and kill and, uh, and these, it's these things through a human body. The, uh, our bodies are, hallelujah, should be temples of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Don't allow your body to be a temple of demonic entities, of of demonic hosts, of devilish hosts, of satanic beings. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We let loose the Holy Spirit to be in this environment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father. We ask that you fill us right now with your with your your with your presence, with your Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And we bind all backlash and retaliation. And according to Matthew eighteen eighteen, we bind it in earth and in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Amen and amen, y'all. Um. 
uh, go ahead and be on the lookout. I'm going to make a post uh, probably within uh, either tonight or probably t or tomorrow uh, with letting you know the, that the website for the uh, ministry is up. So that's, you know, if you're looking for counseling, the way to contact uh, contact us also will be through there. Um, amen. Hallelujah. Um, we'll all be through the website, not through uh, the Consuming Fire Temple at Gmail. Not that one anymore, but we'll all be done via the website. Anyway, I'll put that post up either tonight or tomorrow as soon as I'm finished everything on the last little finishing touches. But um, God bless you all. All right. More fire, more flame. Peace. And nothing shall by enemies hurt me. And that's Luke 10, 19. That's the word of God. That is your authority and your protection in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And according to Psalm 91, hallelujah, his angels shall bear you up. Say his angels shall bear me up in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Lest I dash my foot against a stone. Your foot cannot be dashed against a stone according to Psalm 91 in Jesus name. So we call right now, Heavenly Father, I call for angelic assistance, heavenly angelic assistance that will outlast, outclass and outmatch every demonic entity agent or whatever the enemy will try to send against me or try to send against the other person on this under the sound of my voice in the mighty name of jesus christ it shall not work it shall fail let it fail let every demonic thing that is coming against you begin to fail let it fail let it die let it die in jesus name hallelujah it is the time hallelujah for the redemption of what the enemy has stolen from you in Jesus' name. It is time for your dignity to return to you. The dignity that the enemy has stolen from you. The, 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 the blessings that he has stolen from you. The achievements that you were supposed to make in the kingdom of God. Some of you are supposed to be in ministry right now. Hallelujah. Some of you were supposed to have spoken to many souls. Whether you are in ministry or not even in ministry. You are supposed to have spoken to many souls. Hallelujah. And they will come to know Christ through you. Hallelujah. But the enemy has bogged you down so much with so many of his agents distracting you and, and, and cursing you and doing things unto you and to your children so that you aren't even focused enough to do the work of God. God forbid in the name of Jesus Christ, let that entire situation turn around now for your good. Hallelujah. For all things shall work out for your good. Hallelujah. For you are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So we, declare, we decree this and we declare it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And it is done and we call it finished in Jesus name. Go ahead and begin to, um, we say amen, but go ahead, like I said before, just call upon the spirit of God. Look at people with the spirit of God. Do not look at what they look like. The exterior means absolutely nothing. It is all about what is in the interior. The body is just a flesh bag to carry you around this earth. Hallelujah. The rules of engagement on earth are as such. In order to manipulate the physical realm, hallelujah, to pick up this bottle of water, to do anything like that, I must have a flesh body. Amen. There are spirits who from time to time can do different things like you might see lights flashing on and off or uh, pots going all crazy in some of these houses falling all over cabinets closing etc but these are all temporary events hallelujah but to continuously manipulate the physical realm you must have a flesh and blood body that's why these demons want to get in so bad so they can experience some sex and lust through you so they can experience that that drug that drink etc through you so they can um uh, 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 act out that demonic act through a human body so they can go out and, 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 and murder and kill and, uh, and these it's these things through a human body the uh, our bodies are hallelujah should be temples of the holy spirit Amen. Don't allow your body to be a temple of demonic entities, of of demonic hosts, of devilish hosts, of satanic beings. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We let's loose the Holy Spirit to be in this environment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father. We ask that you fill us right now with your with your your you, with your presence, with your Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And we bind all backlash and retaliation and according to Matthew eighteen eighteen. We bind it in earth and in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Y'all um. Uh, go ahead and be on the lookout. I'm going to make a post uh, probably within uh, either tonight or probably t or tomorrow uh, with letting you know the, that the website for the uh, ministry is up. So that's, you know, if you're looking for counseling, the way to contact uh, contact us also will be through there. Um, amen. Hallelujah. Um, we'll all be through the website, not through uh, the Consuming Fire Temple at Gmail. Not that one anymore, but we'll all be done via the website. Anyway, I'll put that post up either tonight or tomorrow as soon as I'm finished everything on the last little finishing touches. But um, God bless you all. All right. More fire, more flame. Peace.